Tonight, new information about a couple accused of killing a three-year-old boy and abusing his two-year-old brother. Cassie Smith and Joshua Oxford back in court tomorrow morning facing first-degree murder charges for the death of Daniel Terrio. Meanwhile, 8 News now obtained an arrest report for 20-year-old Smith on the alleged abuse of two-year-old Brandon Smith. Sasha Loft is joining us now live in studio. And before Sasha begins, we do want to warn you, some of the information is disturbing. Yes, Denise and Brian, I've been digging through this report. In an interview with police, Cassie Smith said her boyfriend, Joshua Oxford, was actually the one who hurt her two-year-old son, Brandon. She told officers he would hit the child when she wasn't around and pinch him when he, quote, misbehaved. This all started, as you said, on Sunday when Smith reported her three-year-old son, Daniel Terrio, missing. Before they found his body, police came to Smith and Oxford's home to look for him. That's where they found her two-year-old son, Brandon Smith, in Oxford's care with marks on his face. Officers took him to the hospital where doctors decided all of these injuries came from intentional physical abuse. They found bruises, fingernail scratches, burns, and signs someone tried to strangle the toddler. Police added Brandon had a lot of cuts and marks on the right side of his body, and Smith is left-handed. When officers asked, she denied hurting him at all. We spoke with Brandon and Daniel's father and Cassie Smith's cousin, who both described their devastation. I could say that I feel like I'm separated. You know, I feel, I feel like my soul is separated from itself just a little bit, but there are no words at how I feel. They're just babies. Like... They were innocent and they were fun and they loved to play and they were best friends and they were a year apart. Now that report did state both Smith and Oxford hurt Brandon, so they each face a child abuse charge. Now we are still awaiting that uh, an arrest report for a murder charge they're facing in little Daniel's death, and then we will find exactly what happened to Daniel in this situation. And you will remember officers also charged them, as I said, with his death yesterday, and we're still waiting for that arrest report. So we will, of course, keep you posted on that. And Sasha, could Smith or Oxford face the death penalty for Daniel's murder? Now, I did reach out to the DA on that whole situation, and they said they will be available to talk about that tomorrow. But I can tell you the district attorney's office does have a committee that reviews cases involving children like this. And in some situations similar to this one, they have pursued capital punishment. Okay. Thank you, Sasha.